Hello everyone, I'm Ming Jian Tuo from University of Houston. And today I'm going to give a presentation about my estimation on COVID-19 prevalence. And the data set I use in my study is from Taiwan. As we all know, COVID-19 has transformed from epidemic to pandemic, and the total confirmed global cases has passed 1.8 million, and the total deaths has passed 100,000. But there are good news because the total recovered cases has passed 400,000. I chose Taiwan as my study case for two main reasons. First, Taiwan got influenced by COVID-19 earlier than other areas in the world. The second is many news media reports that Taiwan has contained COVID-19 successfully. By April 8th, the total confirmed cases in Taiwan is only 380, and the total deaths is only 6. And most of the confirmed cases are imported cases. The data I used in my research is from the website of Taiwan Centers of Disease Control. And the first diagram shows the daily tested cases. And the second diagram shows the number of daily confirmed cases. A simplified SIRS model is used in this study, and the first equation shows the expectation of total infected cases during the maximum incubation period, and the second equation is the estimation of effective infection number using maximum likelihood. In our point process model, we need to define the number of daily infected cases. So I chose 25% of the imported confirmed cases as the daily imported infectious cases in our model. So this figure shows the number of daily tested cases. And the first case was confirmed on January 21st. So I chose January 7th as the start point of the recorded day and here is a comparison between the prediction of our models and the true values as we can see um, the prediction fits the true values pretty well but after like 90 days um, there is also a deviation and in the next step we extend our model with a new data point added and as we can see, the prediction fits the true value pretty well. When the true value decreases, there is also a drop in the prediction. And there are some conclusions from this study. First is our model fits the true values pretty well. And the second is that COVID-19 is contained in Taiwan. And the third is that wearing a mask can really protect you from COVID-19. Recently, some researchers have compared N95 medical and homemade masks in their study. And the, the, the result shows that even for homemade masks, it can block 95% of the virus. And there are some more discussions. Um, the death rate and recovery rate were not considered in our model, and the imported cases may not accurate. And the fourth is that herd immunity can be a factor influence the prediction.